Welcome to Productivity in Real Life, where we talk all your favorite productivity applications like Microsoft OneNote and, of course, Evernote, Notion, and the Google Suite, Google Keep, all those different applications. Bear, Apple Notes, the whole works. We are talking productivity and usability of all these applications and not just with test dummy accounts we're putting these things to real world applications let's dive into OneNote and if you remember our episode number one not that long ago we were importing from Evernote and bringing in a roughly 1850 or so notes from Evernote across into Microsoft OneNote and you might recall we actually had OneNote, the Windows 10 version, the Windows 10 application, we had that crap out and sit loading notebooks. It got stuck on this. I actually left it overnight at one point and uh, yeah, no luck. I tried different sign-ins still using my own account of course but I still I signed out I signed back in you know I I did just about everything I rebooted the computer and still nothing stuck loading notebooks the wheel just kept spinning spinning and spinning and uh, yeah nothing happened Microsoft OneNote Online worked just fine. I was able to see my imported notes and, and deal with them that way. But I still wanted OneNote to work on Windows 10 with their native application. After all, there's no reason why it shouldn't have. Well, I found the answer. It took a little bit, but I found the answer and I finally got it back going. So here's our Microsoft OneNote. Here's our 1850 imported notes. We can go back to changing notebooks, my 2020 test notebook, my Evernote import notebook. Everything's in there. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a happy camper now that it's back working and I can put this thing to the test and see what I think of Microsoft OneNote. So, how did I get it to work? Well, there were some offline messages here. There was times that it was online. And like I said earlier, I tried signing out, signing back in, rebooted the computer and everything, but nothing worked. What I had to do was actually go to apps and features so you can just hit your start button, type in the word apps, open. And now we just want to find Microsoft OneNote from the list of applications you have got installed. OneNote for Windows 10. Click. And once you've clicked, you'll now see a, a line for advanced options. We just simply click again. We come down to the reset section. If the app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. You can try repair. What I had to do though was the reset option. If this app isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. And yeah, it's a little bit of a pain, but you know what? As soon as I did that, I clicked reset. We'll do it now. I'll just show you here. This app's the permanent this will permanently delete the apps data on this device including your preferences and sign-in details reset if memory serves I also tried to uninstall and bring it back but it, that didn't work either this is what worked was the reset so now we just go back to our OneNote It's already got me signed in as my Microsoft account here. Get started.
and look at this here's our my notebook more notebooks and here they are my imports and my 2020 test notebook open the two of those there's my 2020 notebook and here's our Evernote import and there it is just as quick as that it's back online it's got all my imported notes and it's functional so this will be nice this I need to put Microsoft OneNote through more paces that was definitely very frustrating to have it crash like it did if you're a beginner OneNote user you're going to be frustrated uh, if that happens to you if you're not very technical savvy you're definitely going to have some frustrations and in that case I really hope this video helps so that being said Microsoft OneNote it's back up it's back running I'm enjoying it so far um, I'm not a big fan of dark mode and maybe that's because I'm so used to OneNote or not OneNote, uh, Evernote um, but uh, I'm, I'm enjoying playing around with OneNote right now on a Microsoft Surface Go tablet the 2018 version and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to importing some additional Evernote notes and just putting things through the paces but that's that's it that's I just wanted to cover the basis there you saw one note crash on me and I've got it back up and running now it it seems to be working good so let me put it through its paces and report back to you with uh, some productivity in Microsoft OneNote Thanks for watching Productivity in Real Life. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share.